Hello, everybody. This is Kimsey. <laughs> I scared some people in the room with me. This is Kimsey Lamiel of Lamiel, and uh, we are over here living the Lamiel Diamond lifestyle. And as promised, um, I'm going to do this quick video on the Lamiel. Well, it could be whoever you are on your daily sales tracker sheet if you are in DS Domination. This sheet is going to work whether you're in DS Domination, whether you sell things on your website, what have you. If you're in DS with me or with our team, um, then you're also aware that they are developing an awesome software that is going to track everything for you and do everything um, in a real automated way, which is wonderful. I am a real visual person and I need to be able to put my hands on stuff. When my computer doesn't work, if something happens and there's a power outage or there's a glitch and stuff crashes, I need to have a backup system. My sales tracker and my posting trackers are backed up, um, both on a um, in a virtual way and on a thumb drive so I could go someplace else. Uh, these sheets can be printed monthly, so that way I have a record. Um, however, I am very much looking forward to their new program. So if you're like me uh, and you need to keep something yourself and not rely on somebody else's computer system, uh, then this is going to work for you. This is also going to work until that system arrives so that you have uh, really accurate records for taxes and for filling orders, for checking orders, for following up. When people call, I mean, I just had this experience where I could have swore this lady had already received her item, but um, she just inboxed me today and was like, when is it going to arrive? So it appears to be more of a of the shipper's issue, but um, the forms really allow me to, this form and the form in the next video really allow me to find the item and her order and figure out what happened. Um, and then I also have my my receipt books, which I showed you guys in another video, how I track every order. I don't know what's going on with Firefox here. It won't restart. Um, how I track each order. So I have my sales receipt, the invoice, and then the, um, the receipt from when I actually purchased the item to fill that order. So it made it really easy to find her, her information and, and what have you. So... This is uh, your daily sales tracking sheet, and across the top, now you can download this, if you're in DS Domination, you can download um, the form at the bottom of one of the trainings. I modified it slightly, so that's why I'm showing you what my modifications are. I track the day that they order, the processing time, I tell... Uh, each customer who orders, it's at the bottom of my descriptions that I have a three to four day processing time. Why? Because there are days that I don't work. So if you order at midnight on a Friday, don't expect to hear from me till Monday when I'm, because at that point, that's when I'm processing your order. I have a family and I am not sitting here at my computer filling orders the minute they come through. And truly the excitement of it all when first starts, you want to fill every order as soon as it comes in, and that's great because it gets your numbers up, it gets your ratings up, it gives you really quick shipping uh, comments and things like that, but then life also uh, takes place and you need to have a balance. You need to be able to go out do things and do other things, and people order at you know different times of the day, different time zones, and um, you can't fill every order within minutes of it arriving. So that lets me know the latest I have to process this order. The site that I ordered from could be, you know, um, Walmart. The customer ID. Now, this particular sheet, the way it's designed, and I did update this slightly for the new year, but the way that this sheet's designed is their customer ID. Uh, if it's on eBay, it's going to be, of course, their eBay ID number. If you sell on Google, then um, they're going to give you their ID number. So I don't, it doesn't say eBay or, or what have you because their ID number is going to be different depending on um, where they ordered from. And I'm sorry, site that they ordered from, this is the site that the customer ordered from. So it could be eBay or it could be Google. It's going to, your customer ID, their full name, 
your customer email address, whether it's Google or um, eBay, you'll be able to find their email address. And please don't email this person. Um, you'll be able to find their eBay their email address in your PayPal transaction, and that's good for follow-ups. You know, just because they're ordering from you on eBay or on Google doesn't mean it has to be a one-time order. Uh, you can create a system to follow up with those people, stay in contact with those people, and bring them back to your page time and time again. Different video. You're going to get their mailing address, their telephone number when they provide it. This is the product URL um, for that item. Item name, it's a boy's bike, what the sales price is, has the order been placed yet, the company that, I, that supplied me, um, the expected delivery date, what my cost is what my fees are, what my profit is. And then over here, if I had to refund, you know, like they canceled, they needed the delivery sooner, or um, sometimes they think they're getting one thing because they didn't fully read the description and it was something that they didn't need. So those are all of the things that I track for every single order. So when the order comes in, I immediately copy it to this page because it is a lot easier for me to... Um, to sort through everything and see what my profit margin is on every order, if I lost any money, um, how many refunds I have, and all of that information can then be condensed at the end of the month onto you know a sheet that says you know your gross profit, your net profit, how much you paid to PayPal, to eBay, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, from every sale. And this works for every uh, every sale that I have from all different. Um, from all of my different avenues. This year, because I am opening up more streams, I'm probably going to segregate my sheets. So I will have a sheet from eBay, I'll have a sheet from Google, I'll have a sheet from my website that's specifically chocolate, I will have a sheet from uh, for clothes and the, the corsets that I sell on my site, I'll have a sheet for classes, uh, just because um, it'll be easier for tracking. But here it is. These are the things that I track. Um, I've watched the videos. I made sure that we incorporated the things that the guys from DS Domination recommended that we have. And these other things that have been added have been added based on my experience um, in dealing with customers and the information that I needed to have at my fingertips. Uh, if there was an issue or simply if I needed to address a question or to verify information. I hope this helps. I am going to put this uh, sheet as a downloadable document in my group. If you're not in my group, which is Living the Lamiel Diamond Lifestyle on Facebook, please send over um, a request to join. It's an open group, and I'll be doing a lot of, um, I'll be giving you guys a lot of business and life tips and really wonderful, crazy things over there. Uh, and if you're on my team and you're in the team success group, I will put it in there for you as well. Thanks. Have a great day.